Hello, today I'm going to show you how to create this zigzag pattern. Let's change the fill to yellow and the stroke to none. Next, press the letter M for the rectangle tool and draw a square. Now switch to the delete anchor point tool and remove this anchor point. Be sure the triangle is selected and let's duplicate it. Press the Ctrl and C keys on your keyboard to copy it and Ctrl F to paste it in front. Let's change the fill color of the copied triangle to blue and rotate it by 180 degrees. Next, go to View and be sure the smart guides are showing. Select everything and create a copy. Select both squares and create another copy. Make sure the squares are aligned and that there are no gaps between them. Next, select the top right square and rotate it by 90 degrees. Select the bottom left square and rotate it by 180 degrees. Finally, select the last square and rotate it by 90 degrees. And we are ready to create a pattern. First, be sure your swatches window is open. Now select everything and drag it into the swatches window. Let's move everything outside the artboard. Click away to deselect. Using the rectangle tool, draw a rectangle to cover the artboard. Now click on the pattern swatch that we created. To resize the pattern or change its color, first double click on the pattern swatch to open the pattern options window. Let's resize it. First select the highlighted square, hold down the shift key and scale it down. Now select the Size Style to Art option. Click away to exit this mode. To change the color, first select the rectangle and then double click on the pattern swatch. Let's select all blue triangles of the highlighted area and change the fill to white. Now select these two yellow triangles and change the fill to black. Select these two yellow triangles and change the fill to grey. Click away to exit this mode. To modify it even more, double click on the pattern swatch again. Let's select the highlighted square and create a copy. Be sure the copied shape aligns with the top shape. Now press the letter O to select the reflect tool and then press enter to reverse the color order. Click OK and exit this mode. Let's scale down our pattern a little more. So like we did previously, first select the rectangle Double click on the pattern swatch, select the highlighted area, now resize it and click away to exit this mode. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.